Hey guys, so this is a how-to video on how to make the fire starter that I came up with. And what you're going to need is some cotton pads, some cotton balls, a towel, paper towel roll, some candles, some matches, and some good scissors. Alright, so what you're going to want to do first is cut off roughly an inch inch and a half depending on how big you want to make it of uh, towel pa paper towel rolls and then what you're going to want to do is tear off rectangular pieces of the uh, cotton pad and then tear them off so they look like this so they can fit around the edges of the paper towel roll and then what you're going to want to do is put wax all over them and then have them stick to the outside. And to get wax on them, you can either uh, burn a candle, let it drip onto there, and then you can do it that way, or you can melt the wax in a pan or something. I'm out of bag liner, liner for the pan, so I'm going to have to be dripping candles, so it'll take a little bit, but I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Alright, so there's that, and... All I really did was drip candle wax onto the outside of the paper towel roll and then I put the cotton squares onto it and around the outside and it stuck to it and dried. So next what you're going to want to do, it's probably the thing that takes the longest, is uh, drip wax all around the outside of the cotton now and make a nice good layer of candle wax. So I'll show you what that looks like. Alright, so here it is with the wax coat on the outside, and uh, it took me uh, probably like 20 minutes to burn it all on there, and like I said, it is a lot faster if you um, melt it like in a pan with liner, but yeah, and if you want it to burn longer, you can add another layer, but that takes a while, but probably worth it. So next what we do is we get the cotton and we melt a bunch of wax pretty much on there and stuff it on the inside. So I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Alright, so this is what I'm doing. And uh, I'm slowly dripping a bunch of candle wax into cotton that I stuffed into the toilet paper roll. And... You don't want to get a bunch of cotton in there because we're not quite done yet. We're going to put an outside layer of cotton in there too. We're just getting an inside coat of wax right now. And um, so I'm almost done with one side and then i got to move on to the next side. And then I'll show you what that looks like when I'm all done. Alright, so this is what it looks like. Um, just melted the wax on the cotton on the inside and then this is what it looks like so now what I'm going to want to do is uh, take some more cotton and stuff it inside stuff as much as you can in there and then so it makes for easier lighting and then take some more here and then what you're going to want to do is maybe melt a little bit more wax on there so it stays in just to make a good layer I already um, Put some cotton on the on this side so this is what it should look like and then you'll be about done so I'll show you what it should look like all right so this is the finished product and uh, just one little tiny thing left you want to do and that's uh, put some cotton on the top maybe drip a little bit more wax and uh, make it so it sticks so it would make really easy lighting maybe connect a little bit of cotton to both um, sides of the ball and then you'll be done and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's lit okay so this is the finished product and uh, when you light it you want it to be standing up so the flame can get in on both sides so I'll get it lit and show you what it's like hold on a minute okay so I just got the cotton on top lit it's already burning fairly high 
and I did that with uh, Flint, so it wasn't very hard. That's why I couldn't have the video going when I did it, but yeah, it should, should take off in a minute. So it caught on the other side, and yeah, there it, it's going. So while that's going, I'll show you another thing. So I learned this in chemistry class, actually. If you're in a really desperate situation, you can use a Cheeto as a fire starter, too. So... You might need matches for this one, but it will get lit and then it'll go. But so yeah, Cheeto burns pretty good too, and then you you can add a few to it and have a Cheeto fire. But yep, that's the fire starter, and it'll probably burn it for a good 20 minutes in the Cheeto for a couple minutes, but definitely enough to get a fire started so